Uh, let's discuss ITC. Abneesh Roy is joining us, Executive Director of Institutional Equities at Edelweiss. Uh, Abneesh, good morning. Uh, the cigarette number looked quite good, uh, especially the volume number. Uh, your first thoughts uh, and uh, what would be your call on the stock? Yeah, ITC for once uh, had a good beat versus consensus and our uh, expectation. Uh, so clearly good news is continuing. So first good news happened on February 1st. Second good news happened yesterday. So clearly low teens uh, volume growth on a negative base of five means on a two year basis, cigarette volumes have grown seven to eight uh, percent. So that's a good number. So this again shows that when the taxes are rational, uh, legal industry takes market share from the 24% illegal. So this is good for the government. This is good for the company and this is good for the shareholder and consumer also. There, there has to be rational pricing. Uh, if you see the other metrics also, yeah, Agri has done really well, 100% kind of a growth. So company is being opportunistic wherever uh, it makes sense. On the FMCG also, if you see they've expanded the direct reach uh, significantly, yes, margin pressure is there. On tech also, we are seeing disclosure levels the recent analyst meet was put. So we have a buy on uh, ITC. We, in fact, uh, upgraded it uh, because of the positive surprise in uh, the budget and yesterday's uh, consensus beat. So we have a positive uh, uh, view and 285 target price on uh, ITC. This is, this is one of the rare years. Second successive, the no uh, tax side, which is clearly big positive uh, for ITC. Okay, so 285 is your target price, right, on ITC? Yes, 285. Okay. Uh, you were talking about the pickup in businesses, even the hotel business, right? I mean, it posted a loss last year and uh, of 67 crores, it's posted an EBIT this time around uh, of 50 crores. So, looking pretty good on that front too. Um, so, given all of that, do you think that there could be the start of some sort of a multi-year earnings upcycle for ITC? And if yes, you spoke about your target price, but have you even raised your earnings estimates uh, for the company? So, uh, is it a multi-year bull run for ITC? That will depend upon February 1st next year. So, in a cigarette company, always uh, this issue is there. Uh, government this time, if you see, uh, Mr. Modi told uh, the finance minister that already there is very high inflation. So, we should not increase the taxes. So, that was good this year. But uh, I think we need to take one year at a time in a cigarette company. Uh, but uh, disclosure levels are clearly improving. In terms of the beat, yes, uh, we did increase our uh, estimates slightly. Uh, in hotel business, you are absolutely right. Uh, urban recovery is being seen in all forms of consumption. There is a revenge pent up demand, which you <coughs> discussed just before this with Mahindra holidays. So yes, uh, that business should do really well. People are not going to go uh, to overseas vacation. So definitely Indian hotel businesses should do well. And ITC obviously is a key player there. Okay, fair point. Uh, now, uh, Abhinesh, since we have you with us, I just wanted your thoughts on Titan as well. Uh, that also... Uh, yesterday had, of course, has already reacted, but uh, how would you approach that stock now, post the numbers? So, company is taking multiple steps. So, they have a regionalization strategy, something like a Hindustan Unilever as winning in many India. Titan has identified UP, Bihar, Andhra, Tamil Nadu markets where they have a huge potential to scale up because they are a bit small there. Secondly, they have cut grammage in the gold. Uh, they have taken price hike in the diamond jewelry also. Plus, uh, there is a market share, a huge opportunity. Currently, Titan has a 6% market share of the total jewelry market in India and 15% in the organized. So, definitely huge potential. So, this is a high growth stock, not cheap by any metric, but definitely high growth is going to continue. And we have seen any time COVID wave happens, uh, the loss sales comes back because you do see bunching up of sales uh, eventually. So, overall, uh, wedding is just 20% for them. For the market, it is easily 50 to 60 percent. So, wedding clearly doing really well for them. And studded also has grown at uh, 35, 37 percent. So, that also has expansion of margin. So, we are quite positive, not cheap, but this is a compounding story. We can easily see 18 to 20 percent compounding long term here in terms of profits. Okay, and the stock has done really well. Uh, in the last six months, the stock is up what 37 percent, right? Since we have you with us, I wanted your thoughts on Britannia. I know the numbers came a while back, but at the conference call, the management made a very interesting point. They said that they have uh, seen no slowdown in the rural market, unlike their peers and unlike other players. And they also said that their market share gain in rural has been two times urban. So they're clearly picking up a lot of pace in the rural market. Uh, does that, um, you know, merit a further upside in the stock 
or perhaps an outperformance compared to its peers and what's your price target yes britannia stock uh, has uh, not done well last one one and a half years uh, in fy21 what happened parlay did really well in terms of uh, market share expansion so that was a new development in the last 7 to 8 years now in the last 2 uh, 3 quarters again britannia has started regaining market share from parlay again same strategy regional regionalization so they have identified up mp gujarat and rajasthan kind of uh, focus markets second is now they are taking a uh, good products from south india towards north india so milk pickets is doing really well apart from this uh, uh, clearly in the dairy they have done really well so yes uh, britannia is oversold in our view uh, when palm oil corrects i think that is the big big uh, trigger we are waiting for uh, it has been very inflationary 70 80% inflationary but uh, for britannia palm oil is a key metric from the margins margins did disappoint but on the volume growth and market share this is a new development so britannia definitely should do well uh, in the next one year from a market share volume growth but margins will be a metric of palm oil prices okay avnish we'll leave it there today thanks a lot for joining us uh, uh, always good talking to you uh, let's take stock of the pre open it settled 30 points higher on the nifty so not as good as uh, you know perhaps the pre open at uh, stx at one point indicated the bank